Welcome back, everybody, to Rethink Gaming Sunday Night RPGs featuring Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frostmaiden, played through Discord and Fantasy Grounds. Thank you, as always, to Sirenscape for the amazing atmosphere and music. Make sure you check them out at www.sirenscape.com. You've just got to be using it at your gaming table. If you want to support this content, please consider joining us on Patreon or checking out Rethink Gaming on DM's Guild. Specifically, we just launched a map pack for Chapter 7 of this very same adventure. Check it out. Leave a comment on this YouTube video. Maybe I'll give you a copy. Who knows? All right. Um, let's begin. Last we spoke, or last time we played, the party would, had entered into the Caves of Hunger. Uh, there was a great rift in the ice that the party broke open with the poem to Oral. So um, the full recap would be in chapter one, we got to know the people of the 10 towns. We learned about some Chartolin stuff going on. Somebody was stealing that stuff and hoarding it. Um, in chapter two, we dove a little deeper and a little further afield getting to know even more of the denizens, helping them out and searching for some things and just kind of you know getting our feet underneath us as characters. Chapter three, the adventure picked up in earnest. There was a dark dwarf fortress where they were working on a Chardolin dragon, which was chapter four. The dragon rampaging through the 10 towns. The characters put a stop to it as early as uh, Goodmead with the help of the Arcane Brotherhood, specifically from Velian. Velian had given them some undead pack dogs that meant that they could travel without resting at full speed and therefore catch up to the dragon much earlier than they otherwise would have. All Velian requested in exchange for this was exactly what the party is doing now. Go into Oral's abode bring forth the codicil of the white, which had a poem, magical poem, that could be used to open the glacier, in which are the caves of hunger. And beyond those caves is believed to be a fallen city that was home to ancient wizards. Not to mention, while the party was in Earl's abode, they went ahead and kicked Earl's ass, because... Why not? You're there. May as well get that done instead of coming back later. <laughs> so, uh, the sun is now, once again, coming up. But that doesn't help you much here in the spooky dark place called the Caves of Hunger. So, we know, or have reason to believe, that the rumors could be true because we have discovered a sky coach which whose crash decapitated five wizards, and those five wizards became flame skulls. Um, those flame skulls throw fireballs at you and are relatively nasty things. But the smackdown was given, and Velian provided a tiny hut in which you could rest safely. So that's where we actually pick up. We're just inside the Caves of Hunger. The party is exploring. Um, but has just rested, long rest, in the caves. Uh, let me get you all stacked up here, and I will share the map. Uh, real quick question uh, for Kozgath purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a couple of aura. He's got aura of protection and aura of warding. Are those those are just kind of automatically on during combat? Correct. No, I, I would imagine they don't have any automation tied to them at all. Um, okay. I don't well, know. They're listed as spells, but there's nothing about, like, casting or, or anything like that. Is there an effect that it's, you can apply? There, it, um, not, like, in a... Click, click and target kind of way. Like, the... The aura of warding, for example, is Cosgath and any 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 allies within ten feet of him have resistance to damage from spells. Oh, wow. And then the aura of protection is uh, uh, where 
is that. Everybody gets a saving throw bonus equal is... to charisma modifier. Yes. Super interesting. I don't know the character rules very well at all. Uh, are those running all the time? That That's kind of how they read, but it's not paladin stuff that I ever got to because they didn't right. kick in until after level 5. I think they're both yeah. Aura of Protection 6 and I think Aura of Warding 7. Yeah. It reads like they're just on. Yeah. As long as you're conscious. Whenever you or a friendly creature within 10 feet of you. Huh. Interesting. All right, we'll check real quick and see if there's any Fantasy Grounds automation for this. Any questions on the recap while I look this up? Oh, that was great. Do you have a specific uh, task that we're, why we're investigating these caves of hunger? Um, the Arcane Brotherhood is trying to get to this wizard city because of the, the idea that there are unknown and as yet needing to be rediscovered magics. I mean, these guys were well and beyond what current magic is capable of before they fell. So it's kind of an archaeology thing. Um, I've described it this way before. This is a crude description, so don't take it too literally, but the Arcane Brotherhood are kind of like the Nazis in Indiana Jones. <laughs> they're not supremacist as far as I'm aware and there's nothing in their lore that, that leads to that but they're willing to kill I beg steal whatever to get their hands on artifacts and hoard them so I don't know if there's a better equivalent outside of the example I gave but that's the one that I keep landing on Specific. Uh, do they, do, so Lillian is, is a part of this Arcane Brotherhood? Yes. Okay. And she, I, I seem to have recently acquired a new ring. Is she aware of that as, as an artifact? Uh, yes, it was found in a bag of holding along with some other minor things. Okay. She is, she is aware of that. She has no issues with you having it. Okay, it looks like in order to get the auras to run, you have to download and install an extension. So that's not going to be tonight. Super interesting, though. We'll have to make sure we work those bonuses in. So, um, everybody gets Wait a minute. Which two auras did you say? He has aura of warding and his forehead. Oh, he's an 8th level paladin? Okay, so Aura of Protection is one that they all get. And then I guess warding must be coming from his... his uh, subclass. Um, more than likely that's coming from his spell yeah. hat since his, he's got like oath of the oath of the ancients i think is his yep it is oath of the agents okay and then before we we just finished a long rest right um i think so let me make we, sure i'm going to click it now to be certain but yes we're good Okay, I am going to, before we get started, I'm going to take the time as I wake up and kind of commune with the dead. 
and I believe I can use that previously for animal handling and drop that proficiency and instead use it to add investigation since we're about to be delving through some weird caverns and caves. Okay. Okay, so, um, life inside Leoman's tiny hut is pretty wonderful. Um, takes away almost all of the unpleasantness of being in this icy place. But the spell, well, it also means you don't have to take watch. Um, but the spell lapses after eight hours. Returning you back to the chill, cold, the doom and gloom in the area around you. As you emerge from the dome, I need everybody to make a perception check. Okay, we'll go with Wither in this instance. You notice that the skulls that were previously smashed to your south uh, are not present. Hey guys, those uh, skulls are gone. You mean the ones that were on fire earlier? Those are the ones. They're probably just carried away by Ra. <sighs> Maybe we uh, get a move on before they come back, or something comes back. Great idea. Agreed. Okay, which way would you like to go? Um... We can that stealth line ahead to in a direction the, if we like. That line to the south of Zeno is a 20 foot icy drop into a rather cavernous room below. Uh, what about here to the southwest? That is a much more gradual slide. Is it like sloped or stairs or? Um, actually, this one is sloped up. Um, well, that's a strange way. To, yeah, you would be gaining in height. Does that make sense? Elevation. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It ascends. Well, I thought the other one was a drop, though. Let me make sure I'm reading that correctly. And just in case a higher perception would reveal anything else. You definitely still There's have two feet. Garand and Kozgay. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. That arrow is wrong. Um, it's early in must its descend a naturally formed staircase of ice to reach this cave. So, yep. There, there's a cave down there somewhere. Stairs going down. Over here. Open that up. So you can probably see that. Follow me. Uh, stealthy approach as always. Da, 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 da. Don't be surprised. 
Purpose. All right. Hold up on that room. I'll give you a description. Frost-covered blocks of stone jut from the floor of this 10-foot-high cave of ice. Perched atop the largest stone is an emaciated kobold with glowing red eyes. It bears elongated fangs at you, then scampers away. I will give chase. Where did it scamper? This way? All right. It, it oh. starts there. And yeah, mm -hmm. upon seeing you, scampers this way. Can I try to cast in front of it as it's scampering? Sure. What would uh, you like to cast? I thought I had a snare, but I maybe I don't. So I will retract that statement. Okay. Uh. Wait, stop. Don't run away. Too late. <laughs> All right, so are we following it? I'm definitely following it. Are you, are you running? Yes. Are you, by any chance, faster than it is? It has a 30-foot move speed. Definitely faster than it. Okay. Lucy is 40. Okay, so it's running directly across this room, which is about where you would catch up to it. All right. I'm going uh, get the leg out from underneath it. Okay. Let's do that thing. Do you mind bringing Zeno into the room? I can't see him now that I left. Thank you. You bet. Initiative time. There's Kazga. And they're scared. Okay, we're going to start with Tommen. Jarrett? I will. He's so conveniently. Let's see here. Yeah, since he's so conveniently flaked, I will move up to there and give him a stab. Okay. <laughs> Then I will disengage back five feet. Yikes. Yep. I remember you... to bring everything up and find a spot to put it on my map. <laughs> As you get close to it, you can see it is no ordinary kobold. That is my turn. Okay, and if there's just one, Cosgath will come up to there. And he will just go for a standard attack. Alrighty. That hits, so he'll do that. Hello? 
Yep. Okay, there we go. And then I believe, yeah, he gets an extra attack. Since he's just doing physical attacks this town. And so that is... Gonna miss. And that's it for Kozgath. Okay. creature is going to evade so it's going to take the disengage action and move this direction one two three four five evade means six. it can do so without having to promote Dis an attack of opportunity right disengage does yes gotcha Sigur. what is this thing right in front of me that is a down column. Oh. I'm just gonna, like in uh, the TV show Cops, I'm gonna one arm jump over this. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna Dukes of Hazard it. Bad boys. Oh. <laughs> I won't even make you roll for it. You're certainly athletic <laughs> enough to do that. <clears throat> See what we're gonna do here. Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna rage. But I'm gonna attack him recklessly. I don't know why that's a dent. Oh, it's like a skirt. I think we're growing as a person, or did we miss something? <laughs> What's up and burns its skin as it makes contact it is doing full damage and it's gonna do the same thing okay and he is also going to attack it recklessly With, we've got tons of weapons. Come on, gay. <laughs> I'm going to cast a firebolt. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, Villian, one, two, three, four, five, six. And, um, we will do a wand. One, two, three. Okay. okay. There should have been another D10 of damage on him. Is there any way I can add that? Sure. Go ahead and throw it. Thank you much. I'm going to go edit that now so it casts properly in the future. Okay. Zeno. You can see the ceiling is moving. Some of what appeared to be icicles are apparently not. Did that damage get applied to the cobalt? No. Uh, let me 
check one thing real quick. Uh, let's pick a question. Are vampires considered fiends? No. Okay. They are undead. All the dead. Okay. Yep. The vampire kobold is killed. Jared? Um... Uh, is, is there that anything guys... else in this room? Oh, okay. I will look up. What is going on on the ceiling? That. Ice methods. Oh, joy. Um... Well, then I will switch weapons and whew, uh, do. Uh, incorrect. Um, there we go. Now I can move. I'm going to move over here by Kazgath and... These are all still on the ceiling, correct? They are. They appear to be doing something to the icicles hanging above. Okay. Um, well, then I will move adjacent to Kozgath, and then I will switch and shoot with the short bow. Okay. On ice method number five. Oof. Miss apparently. Great. And that's going to do it. For me. That's good. Follow up question Are Mephits fiends? <laughs> nah. Uh, um, elementals. Elementals, I think. <clears throat> yep. Oh, okay. Dang it. Elemental Fey? <laughs> Not Fey's. <laughs> Dang it. Um, okay, in that case, uh, hold on, let me find the range on plus here. You can cast Bless on yourself, right? Yes. Okay, then. Oh, wait. Second. Um... Okay. Yeah, that is what Cosgath is going to do. He's going to cast Bless on some folks. Okay, so Sigur, you'll be up next. Nope, that. How do I get it? There is an effect on Bless. I've seen him apply it to people. Okay, I got it on me. I got it on Wither. And how did it to myself twice? And then he's close enough. I will draw the last Bless on Sigur. Okay. And then. And then that's Kazgast's turn. All right. Sigur is going to rage. And okay. he's going to pick up the cold ball. Okay. And put it above his head. Okay. And, um... I don't know. He will prepare an attack if a method gets close. 
Gonna schwack it. Okay. Uh, Zeno, I guess, will also rage. What is he, Eagle? Yes. Eagle totem? There you go. And he will toss a javelin. It's super weird. Some of his javelins are plus four, some are plus seven. I don't know what's going on here. All right. Nice. Do that again. There we go. Okay. Mr. Wither. All right, so I am going to go over next to the people with the hit points uh, here. And I'm going to cast at uh, Ice Method 2. Okay. Because that seems like a good plan. takes extra damage from that. Suck on that fire. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to do that again with the old wand. Need to check the charges on this. So it's had seven, so... Um, does anybody know what um, damage type uh, Cosgas breath weapon is? Is it fire or something else? It is fire. Okay. Because he's red. Okay. I have it. Number one is going to come over here and knock an icicle loose over Tommen's head. Tolman does not successfully jump out of the way, and so takes some damage. Two. Shit, I just moved six. Let me swap them around. Okay, two is going to drop an icicle on Cosgath. He saved. Three is going to drop one on Zeno. So saved. Or Cosgath. Wow. Oh, never mind. He rolled 17. That's not surprising. That's not surprising at all. Five Cosgath. Oops. Well, I guess five is using his frost breath. Ooh, broke his concentration on the blessing. And Mephit six is going to drop an icicle on Jaren's head. But he dodged out of the way. Seven and Cosgath. That one got him. Someone. All right. Uh, someone's annoyed at all the 
ice methods and is going to cast... What's the range between me and Mythic 1 and 2? Are they on the ceiling still? They are on the ceiling. Um, I think it's probably a 20 foot high ceiling. Yeah, I'm going to cast Wall of Fire. Okay. And make a 20 foot high wall. Um, I'll make it. I guess maybe I can make it smaller than that and not attack all my friends. We'll see. Trying to read the spell. I can make the wall up to 60 feet long, 20 feet high. Yeah, so let's do like, you know, 10 feet of, of fire only on the ceiling. Okay. Uh, wall is opaque, lasts up to a minute. When the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a dexterity saving throw. So on one side of the wall, I need to draw a wall. I'm going to draw it sort of per perpendicularly from like northwest to southeast, kind of. Into a bottom of, sort of this way. That way, everyone on that side of the wall, only on the ceiling, will take uh, some damage. Wow, okay. Start uh, throwing it on him. Get out of drawing mode so I can read that thing. Okay. For this. Well, wait once and see what happens. <laughs> Something definitely happened. Seems like a good time to throw a high level fire spell against some ice elementals. I don't think any of them survived. Yeah. Why, why did it affect all the ones on our end? He cast it uh, on the ceiling, but like ten foot high, so I guess like ten feet down, and just there's a it flames out in a direction yeah. that the wall faces. Yeah, it's not yeah, a line; I'm... it's a whole wall. So, it like basically away from me, everything away from me, just to the big. Yeah, wall. but I thought the range on it was because I used this last week. I thought could have scored the range on it. it was only ten feet out from the from the for, forward facing wall, so it wouldn't be enough to reach the ones that were all the way over by me and Kozka. Well, I could also unless throw something else is unless something else is in play. Could have also done a cylinder. Maybe I could have considered a different shape. Uh, 10 feet of that side or inside the wall. Yeah, he's right. Um, those shouldn't have been killed, but um, we're going to let it go <laughs> just for sake of moving forward rather than try and reassemble the battlefield. Um, no, no, it, it's fine, I'm sure. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, I could have I could have moved to here and then made a a ring wall and gotten most of them, I think. Probably. Anyway, whoosh, fire. 
<laughs> applies. I really hate this one. kind. So Velian approaches Tommen and says, may I have my orb, please? Are we getting drenched, by the way? <laughs> right, some dripping icicles. Uh, yes, what? it's it's very drippy. Digger <sighs> is not getting wet. He has a cobalt vampire umbrella. Nice. Assuming that Tommen does not refuse pulling Professor Scant out of his backpack. She... I legitimately don't know what she's talking about. It's uh, the Professor Orb. It's a ball of, of knowledge that speaks. All right. Did I have that? You did. It's been making commentary from inside your backpack. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll hand it over. Okay. She smiles at you. She takes the orb and presents it to Sigur's umbrella and says, Professor, analyze. The orb is silent for a moment and says, it's definitely a vampire. Shall I review for you its weaknesses? Villian looks around the room. Go ahead. Yes, very well. Vampires are known to regenerate. As long as it isn't in sunlight or running water. They do not need to breathe. They cannot enter a residence without invitation. They are harmed by running water and destroyed by a stake to its heart. They take incredible damage if exposed to sunlight. She looks about at her friends and says, that's certainly a new form of vampire. I've never seen one like this before. Is it, is it sparkly? It is. It is not. It's rather toasty because it was roasted by fire and, and such. Um, the orb speaks again, sort of pulling Villian's hand toward the uh, tower on your, well, t tower to the east. That tower appears to be of Netherese construction. Were it not for the cracks and holes, that stone would be smooth as glass, shaped by wizardly magic. That's the best kind of magic. Billy Ann looks down the hallway to her right. You are hearing this, yes? Are we hearing? She says, <laughs> I swear, occasionally, someone is laughing at us. Can I hear or see what she's talking about? You have heard a cackling laughter from off in the distance. Is this familiar? It is not. In your specific case, whether it seems um, to have come from ah. the south. I think it's coming from the south, guys. Scout ahead, or we can all go there. Follow me. The orb says, shouldn't we check out the tower? We can always go back to it. 
I'm sure we'll get to everything here in one way or another. What does Villian want? Uh, she's willing to follow you. She puts the orb in her component pouch. I need some things. I need some else to do the thinking here. All right, moving right along. <laughs> okay. Here you find the top of a partially shattered tower resting on its side in the middle of a 30-foot high cavern. Long icicles hang from the ceiling. North of the tower is a 15-foot diameter hole in the floor that appears to be the upper end of a tunnel. I squint and look for methods. Perception check. Now we're good. Yeah, same. I will. Kazgeth and I will both keep an eye on the ceiling. Okay. So Kazgeth sees nothing on the ceiling, but he does view everyone else in the party. He sees their flesh wither as black worms crawl out of their ears, noses, and mouths. It immediately fades. Uh, he is... He Everyone feeling all right. Feeling just fine. Everyone normal. I feel good. I, I saw the weirdest thing. It was like black worms were covering your heads and wriggling out of your skin. It was most unpleasant. Are you feeling okay? Uh, other than unsettled, yes. Elian says, may I examine you? By all means. I see no traces of magic. Perhaps it is the strain of too much adventuring. Let us so, carry on. Sigur, you are standing over a hole. It's a smooth tunnel. Your background would pretty quickly inform you this was formed by an adult Remoraz. Remoraz? Perhaps we should ask Mr. Mercer how to pronounce this. Are we ready? Oh, yes, please. I think I just listened to this episode, actually. <laughs> of course, I misspelled it. So, hold on. Remoraz. Oh, you don't get to steal that thunder. The thunder is coming. <laughs> Rumor has. The H is silent. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Remoraz. There you go. I love it. Remoraz. Remoraz. Thank you, Mr. Mercer. Glad you could be here tonight to pronounce things for me. Like everyone tweet at him. Um, yeah. 
which Sigurd knows what those are. I don't know if you want to say anything, but... Yeah, this tunnel was created by Rimores. It's a big worm thing with uh, little spindly bits, I think. <laughs> we have an they energy. don't do magic, do they? That might explain Kuzgas episode. I, I don't even know if they're intelligent. Yeah, that thing. It's about as ugly and creepy as a thing you can probably imagine. It looks very kaiju. And they're huge, right? Yes. Yeah. Figuratively and literally. Yeah. Look at his little pinchy hands. Cute little T-Rex arms. Is it obvious where this tower, fallen towers, come from? It is not obvious where the towers come from. There's frozen ice up above. Are you looking inside? Do it. Wait, I was about to ask: Is that is this like half a tower? It is. Like it's cylindrical in shape, and yep. there's like a half of its diameter. That's that's right. Yeah, I will stealthily take a peek down through the open end here. Okay, it's yeah. actually really well made. If it can fall over and keep its shape, that's pretty impressive. You and Toman can see. Embedded into one of the walls is a wooden chest. It's completely covered with ice. Okay, yeah, let's go check that out. Oscar, oh, might we find you, borrow your uh, hot breath? <laughs> I can sacred flame. His cantrip will heat it up ah. with flame like radiance. Can you target objects with that? <laughs> Not technically. Yeah. I can heat metal as a level two spell. That seems a little bit. Yeah, and just have uh, Cosgath him. Well, he can only do that breath weapon once oh, a day. Oh, that's right. It's never believed me. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit it. Lock it out of the wall. How about that? Sure, that works. If you had a hammer, you'd hammer in the morning. I would. All right. Um, all over this cave. Tucked inside are several, several broken vials. And two bubbly red potions. Anybody interested? Is there anything else that I can see underneath this, like half a tower? Any remains or? Um. Yeah, it was previously a. Alchemist laboratory of some kind. So that's some smashed chemistry bits and mm -hmm. odds and ends. Okay. If it doesn't look like beer or mead, Tillman's not interested. Is anyone good with potions? Not I. They are in the party sheet. Uh, I guess I'll take them for now. If somebody needs them, we can always divvy them up. Yep. Seems like the person with the lowest HP is probably a good call. Done and done. Felian holds out the orb, and it silently takes in the view of this tower. It 
So you've got a Remoraz hole or a passage leading north. <laughs> Wait, what? Remoraz hole? It's a Remoraz hole. <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought one of them? It's an accurate description. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Remoraz hole. <laughs> oh, I can't make my 13 year old boy inside me giggle. Oh my god, it's funny that it has any right to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which way? Uh, is this area to the north? Is that stairs going up or down? Or... Up. Probably just back where we came. I see we hop down here. Fight this beast. Okay. Can we see how far down this hole goes? Quite far. And it's very smooth. Is it sloped or is it a straight shot? It is sloped. Do we slide down? I'm, I'm, I'm going to take... A, I'm going to keep exploring. This seems... I'm going to take a copper coin out. Okay. Toss it down the hole. It's a, a copper to the lady who returns tenfold in gold, <laughs> which is a prayer to Timora. And I'm just going to hop on down. Okay. Hands up. We. I'm going to hop down behind him. All right. Give me one second. Zeno's going to come over here and he's going to kick Toman down. <laughs> Toman's preparing javelins as ice spikes to slow his descent. If anyone would like to use some daggers for extra purchase, I have a few I can pass out. 32, in fact. Okay. Traveling down the slippity slide will eventually put you all. I really hate how it does that. That's definitely something that I need to give Fancy Grounds feedback on. Please don't That's automatically cheap. place people inside of walls. It's very annoying. One of these days I'm going to run a campaign that requires you to do light. Okay. So. Uh, I don't think we can move our characters, by the way. As you go sliding, you realize when you reach the bottom that you are being propelled directly into a bubbly, hot pool of water. Anyone who would like to not do this, make a DC 15 strength saving throw. Anybody who previously mentioned precautions such as javelins or daggers can roll with advantage. I'll save. And um, wait, said so deck save. Strength. Oh, strength. Okay, here goes Garen's. And here goes Pazka. Okay, so you 
if you exceeded a 15 on your saving throw, stop yourself wherever you would like. If you did not, stop yourself in the water. So, a tie is a success, or we needed to beat a 15? A tie is a success. Okay. Okay. Garen will move up to the edge, offer a hand to help anyone out that Needs it. Are we all alright? Other than being damp? Indeed not. Splashing into the water. Causes some great beast to begin moving within. Um, I'm going to clear the initiatives and please roll them. Okay. The pool is being heated by the mother Remoraz. She's apparently swimming around a nest of eggs. Oh, who, who? Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. I am going to take a couple of steps back. Get over here by uh, Koska. And I will take my steady aim, so no more movement for me for the rest of the round. And then I will shoot at Mama with my short bow. Okay. Here comes some sneak attack damage. Okay. And that is his turn now. Okay. So you're... This is going to hurt. <laughs> oh, oh. Not of a... Oh, it was an O2. Uh, Zeno will also rage. Rage. He'll move up some and toss a couple of javelins. Hey guys, I think this thing's got a pretty good AC. FYI. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, is rolling low. since Villian is in hot water, um, she is going to reach out and do a vampiric touch.
All right, the young one is going to come to its mother's aid. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. With her? Okay, um... I really want to launch a lightning bolt into this water, but I don't want to zap fry uh, the other party members here, so... I don't think it worked that way. It might. <laughs> that, that was going to be my plan, is to try and electrocute like, everything in the water, but I'm, I'm going to rethink that for now. Uh, I think we're going to throw a fire bolt at the... at the giant worm here. All right, it is fire resistant. Right, let's try pull the dirt on Mama. Good. It's damaged. Yes. And the cast spiritual weapon as a bonus action. So I need a marker for my spiritual weapon for next time because I think I can only cast it and I can move it next time. Okay, place it wherever you like. Thanks. Where would you like the hammer placed? Uh, can I can I attack with it? This round, or do I? Have you to can. Move? When you summon it, you can. I mean, you summon it in a place within range, and then it can attack. Here I guess. No attack. Uh, mama. Okay. Kaz got this up. He will step forward into the water, eh? Into the water. Take on the young one. Um, you have to be on opposite sides for flanking, right? Not just adjacent to somebody in your party. Well, there's no. We're not using an optional flanking rule. Um, ah, okay. For sneak attack, you just need an enemy to be adjacent. Okay, he will first attack with a short sword. It's so let's see. Make sure I remember how to fight sword. Um, let's see. Okay, it is not. Sorry. Okay, so he's going to use Divine Smite on this hit. Okay. He doesn't He doesn't have a button for it, so I'll roll his normal damage first. There's nine, and then let's see. And let's see. I'll use a first level spell slot for that. That's just an additional 2d8. There's 
one. Oh wait, it didn't do it in there. Okay, so there's that. So add an extra eight points of damage from Divine Smite. Oh, and then he also gets an extra attack, so just normal. And that's it for Kuzka. All right. Big Mama Remora's time. All right. So everybody within five feet takes damage because it has a flaming hot body. Of either of them, or just the mama? Of the mama. And she is going to bite. Um, do a d3. She's going to bite Velian. But miss. Okay, Jaren. Alrighty. Takes a deep breath. Steals himself. Another short bow shot. With steady aim. that and then the younger one will take some necrotic damage from whales from the grave okay and that's the guard all right let's see here so many options as a barbarian I think I'll do a reckless attack. Nice. Another hit. Awesome. Oh, and this guy. Uh, guess he'll do the same thing. Okay. His greed axe. Let's take it. Good hit. And second attack. Nice. Awesome. Okay, Villian, not liking that whole quarter of her health and damage thing, is going to disengage and step back against the wall. The young one does 2d6 fire damage to anybody adjacent to it. And it is then going to attempt to bite. It's biting Cosgath. It missed. Wither. 
All right, Wither is going to take a few steps up here <clears throat> and cast a lightning bolt. Okay. Okay. Cosgas? Yeah, it's just gonna short sword it again. Take two attacks on the Remoraz. The young Remoraz, I should say. First one hits. Six. Extra attack. That's a miss. And he's done. Okay. Heated body for the two barbarians. If I can get it to click, there it goes. Some for you, and some for you. Zigger is the bite target this time. And is bits. Holy crap. <laughs> Damage. You're grappled and yeah. restrained. She's fitting to swallow you. Gernt? Well, that's, um... Whew. Yeah, still doing the same thing. Okay. Oh, there it is. Did hit As it tries to swallow a cigarette, get it right through the throat. It is not snack time. I'll deal another 2d6 with whales from the grave to the young one. Garen's turn. Sigger, Sigger. No longer grappled or restrained. Big guy's dead. Yeah. Oh. Indeed. Yeah. Good job, Garen. Uh, so you're just gonna murder the little guy. Oh, I need to make a save. Because he just hit me. Hmm. Oh, my bad. I just rolled damage on him. Yeah. Why? Why is it not reckless, though?
Oh, because I still have the condition. It's okay. Uh, but I need to roll some save. I forget what it is. So I'm using a cursed weapon still. Wisdom, probably? Yeah, DC 15 wisdom save. Yep. Uh, it's everyone, right? Uh, Zill's gonna come over here and start smashing eggs. Okay. <laughs> smashing them, eh? Yeah. Hey. Might save a couple for breakfast. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. I guess we'll do the magic missile thing again. I guess what? What? I killed the young one. Oh, it's dead. That's <laughs> quite dead. <laughs> okay. Then Villian has no action to take. Wither. Uh, I'm assuming there's still something in here. We are we still are. in combat, yes. I'll take a few steps over this direction. And hold my action. So, one. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna look around for something else that might attack us. Someone ready to action. We'll move over here. Kazgath? Uh, clear or murky as it's What's that? How clear or murky is this water? The water is crystal clear. Um, cause, yeah, well, so move, move this way, as there, and kind of make an investigation check, see if there's any, anything of note other than eggs in the water. Okay. Okay. You're inspecting the pool. You don't find anything other than eggs and smashed eggs. <laughs> Gerund. Uh, would it be a stretch to make an insight check to see if uh, Sigurd's curse is acted up again? Yep, that would be worth checking. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that wasn't like a stretch of reasoning. It's probably not going to occur to me anyway. Here we go. How does he, does he seem fine? Does he seem like he's about to turn on one of us? Was it 12? It was an 11. 11. Um, 
He's got a wild wise. look in his eye, but you're not sure if that's just because he's raging. Okay. Six. We'll move over here, and just from the edge, I will see if there's any treasure or anything noteworthy in this pool. Do you want investigation or perception? Uh, whatever you prefer. I'd let you roll either one. Okay. okay. Big Tracy over here. Yeah. Um, that one is pretty empty. Okay. Well, that's all I can do, barring a visible threat. Let's see here. I'm going to fight this guy to the death. Okay. Everybody who was reserving an action, you just uh, Sigur wail into Cosgath. Um, real quick. Though I don't think he's rolled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Actually, going to conjure a mage hand and have it float over and slap Sigur in the face. So I reduce a, a creature to to zero so I get another attack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think Zen will probably try to Restrain him. Okay. I think athletics. Mm. <laughs> Not with that roll. <laughs> Was it contested? Yeah. Athletics, you think? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I could run and come help. With the uh, restraining. It's your turn. Billion's not going to get involved. All right. Uh, I guess I need to roll athletics. Um, are you helping Zeno with the restraining? Yes. He already had advantage. Oh, he already had advantage. Okay. Um. Yes. I mean, you could additionally attempt to restrain. I think someone's going to use the Ring of the Ram. Okay. Oh. Sigur. What does this do? Moves him five feet. But may I provide some information? <laughs> Let's do bad things. Because Tommen just used the spell, I think. Like last session. Dispel man. So just a few hours ago to <laughs> snap Sigur out of one of these. Oh yeah. That's right. I forgot. Dispel magic. Do that thing. Don't forget about it. Yeah, the third little spell. Choose a creature. Oh, the DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. I think we decided that since it's uh, 
level four or less, it automatically yeah, succeeds. It does succeed. It, yep. So this causes Sigurd's rage to fade. Good wolf kills Sigurd. What about Kozgath, who is dying? <laughs> All right. I guess I should uh, spare the dying. So I'll walk over and touch Kozgath. Okay. Spare the dying as a cantrip. Okay. We'll assume you've got time to do that. So then what? We'll throw a heal on Kozgath. Is Zeno going to resume smashing eggs? Sure. There are eight. I think maybe he'll he'll stop and he'll get a couple for breakfast. Okay. Maybe he'll uh, he'll fry those up and uh, take short rest. <laughs> okay, everybody, good on the short rest. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. definitely be up for that. Sounds good to me. Perhaps out of the water. <laughs> yeah. Where did he go? I was just moving everybody up together over here. Oh. Um, let's see here. And I'm clicking the short rest button. Recovery for everybody. Roll some hit die on Kozgath. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. There we go. So we got a 13 F 150. Got some running poorly issue from one of these itty bitty crappy fuses. We're gonna move the fuel pump power to one of these bigger pieces. Not much. He's feeling much better. I'm throwing the garbage. During this, Kyle's gaff will speak up. It's like, I think it's time we figure out why Sigurd's trying to kill us. I just get a little carried away sometimes, guys. Sorry, it won't happen again. Stay tuned that it doesn't. You threatening me, little one? I'm saying you're all out of chances.
rest of it more. I think so. Where would we like to go next? I'll investigate this room to the north. Room to the north. Nothing apparent in this room. Okay. What about this other little pool over here? Well, it's bubbling and warm. You notice, by the way, that the pool you just passed is already starting to ice over. And can I see anything below the surface of the water, or is this one murkier than the others? This one is quite clear. You can see two young Remoraz and several eggs well, i found more if anyone wants to do some smashing i'll smash wrong at advantage We wish to smash? Heck yeah. We're just leaving Zero behind. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oops. How did that happen? By the way, Cosgeth, you have a sense of undead. Evil undead. Something undead is near us. We'll speak up. Sigur, you will be first. Yes. Nice. Oh, 
Okay. Um, Klausgath will cast Bless. Let's see. On Garand. And Wither. And himself. And that's his action. Okay. Um... Let's see. Valian is going to move toward this one. And we'll do Tasha's hideous laughter. Which I assume would work. Because it's a creature, right? Yeah. It'll be interesting to hear a river as uh, you'd have to be die laughing. Stand? Is it? I'm going to make that up. Creature of your choice finds everything hilariously funny. Must succeed on a wisdom save. Oh, this is a, a creature with an intelligence score of four or less isn't affected. I don't know if she knows the intelligence of the Rimuraz. Let's do a quick check on her and find out. She is pretty high int. Okay, yeah, she would know that's not going to work. So never mind. Um... I guess we're down to Well, we can do the chill touch. Um Okay. Zeno's turn. Current. Uh, okay, I will help Zero attack this one. Steady aim. my last whales from the grave on the second one. That's my turn. Okay. Heated body. And then randomly select a target. Fight attack on Wither. Missed. Heated body on. Which square are you in, Garant? Um. 
Mm-hmm. Making rage I would attack. Say that one. Right. But as I was unclear about my positioning, feel free to oh. think that I was close enough. All good. Villager's turn. Lightning bolt time. Okay. You hear a cackling laugh this time much closer than the other ones have been. Sigur's turn. All right. Um, can you move him? Who? Uh, uh, Sigur, I've got Zeno selected and the rock's in the way, so I can't see the Sigur token. Yeah. Oh, here I can. There you go. He's just invisible now. (laughs) Really? Yeah. Okay. There we go. I got him. All right. Uh, Does it take an extra attack? Because you reduce the creature to zero. That's not bad for a free attack. And then he's going to do some uh, more killing. Holy crap. <laughs> nice. Nice. And that's how we do in defaults. <laughs> So the mist begins to materialize and standing before you is what appears to be a knoll. No way. That's just unpleasant. It is Kazgat's turn. What's the 25, 30 feet within range on a javelin, right? Yes. Okay. He will just fuck a javelin at it. And extra attack works with a thrown weapon, right? Yes, you obviously have to throw a different one, but yes. Okay. Um, okay, never mind. I guess it probably just has the one job. Uh That's it for Kazga. Okay. Uh, let's see. Villian is going to step quickly uh, to here. She's going to throw the chill touch at the thing. Whoops. Shit. That was Vampiric, vampiric touch. That's fine. Uh, 
Okay, and it seems to um, affect it. It seems to slow it some when she hits it with that spell. Zeno. Uh, take my standard sniper shot. Ooh. That's it. Okay. Wither? I am going to give the... Uh, I guess this is a, uh, you said it was a cobalt or gnome? No, no, no. Uh, so we're going to try the phantasmal killer spell on the null here. Okay. Okay. Nice. And it, I think it's got to make a save again. Yeah, at the end of the target's turn. Okay. He is going to transform into a cloud of mist. And speed up the northern hallway. Well, that was creepy. This great big giant one right in front of us. Yep. All right, crew. I think we will call it here for this evening. I am starting to fade a little bit. It's the Benadryl I took earlier, I'm sure. But uh, thanks, everybody, for watching along so far. And we'll see you all next week. Mm-hmm.